Sure. Uh, so Snowfall is about um, the beginning of the, the crack epidemic in, in uh, South Central Los Angeles. And uh, I play Teddy McDonald, a, a CIA officer who goes undercover as a uh, cocaine dealer um, in Los Angeles. And this is Juan yeah. who plays. <laughs> I, I play a character called Alejandro Estevez that's a commander of a small guerrilla unit of Contra fighters that are stopped at the border of Honduras and Nicaragua, and that we're fighting against the Sandinista government. We're without funds and without materials and without arms. So I tried to enlist the help of the CIA to import cocaine from South America into Los Angeles and using the funds to fund our kind of off-the-book war. So it's still a very controversial subject, but it kind of gives a context for the time in the 80s of what was going on in Los Angeles. What's interesting, I think, is that even though you're talking about something in the 80s, obviously the drug war is still raging, so something that's still very relevant. Absolutely. I, I think that today, right now, it's an important time to remember uh, any time in American history where our most vulnerable, our poorest citizens, our least represented, were, were treated as expendable uh, casualties um, to advance uh, uh, the government's agenda, you know, and I, I, I just I think it's important to remember that these things happened and they can happen again and we should be vigilant about that. We should talk about it. Do you think that, uh, sorry, did you want to add to that? No, go ahead. Okay. Do you think that, I feel like whenever there's a show about drugs, people want to know. It just seems so underground. They kind of want to get an idea of what it was like. Yeah, absolutely. In this specific instance, the themes that we're talking about in the show and specifically the things that we're involved in is that it brings to light that there's a real, there's, there's human casualties that are involved in the importing and the distribution of drugs into the country, okay? So a lot of times Americans that we usually are the consumers of these kind of narcotics and it's kind of, it's kind of an abstract idea of where these drugs come from, what it takes to bring them to the country and who are the kind of people that are going to great lengths to do it. And so what what our part of the story, what we kind of highlight is the really the, the human cost of it and the violence associated with it. And I think what you touched on a little bit are the people involved. You know, this is not a glamorization of it. It's not a romanticization of it. What it is, it talks about the real human cost. And like you said, we're talking about something that happened in the 80s, but the reverberations, we're still feeling this all the way today. There's still families that are still dealing with what happened in the early 80s. And hopefully they take something from the series. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait to see it.